Our Gulf South Conference Game of the Week took place in Carrollton, Georgia, the home of the Wolves of West Georgia. But it was West Alabama that came to play, and they ended up winning this one rather handily, a final score of 31-7. to Welcome into your Gulf South Conference Digital Update. I'm Matt Coulter along with the coach Rick Rhodes. It was 7-3, believe it or not, West Georgia at the half, but uh, the second half belonged to the Tigers. Yeah, it really was all West Alabama in the second half, Matt. But even from the opening kickoff, West Alabama seemed to have the whip, whip hand. Had a really a pretty sizable advantage at halftime stat-wise in the second half. They just took it to the Wolves. Well, let's, uh, let's show you some of the video on our digital update here from the Gulf South Conference. Well, we had some turnovers earlier. There's the first one, uh, you know, ball's thrown right to McGee uh, to uh, open the interception fest, you might say. Here's a little pick right here. Very nice job by uh, Tavares Hutchinson. That, steals that one but uh, Grammar will try to throw one across the field but uh, that one will be will be picked and uh, that's there's Ellis that uh, will run it back for the first score of the game and here's a punt that's fielded deep 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 inside of West Georgia territory but ball will be returned and, and, and this time and this may be something to to keep in mind, this is Dante Armstrong who caught this one up and it resulted in a turnover. Nothing will come of it. But you might want to keep Armstrong in, in mind for later on in this game. Will yeah. Hall trying to rally his troops, but West Alabama will play it tough inside. This will lead to a turnover. You see the ball pop out to the left of your screen for another turnover. This will lead to a field goal um, by uh, Jordan Bennett. Make it 7-3 at halftime in, this, in the second half. West Georgia will try to get something started as Gardner will step up in the pocket, but that thing is going to be knocked loose by Terry Samuel, and West Alabama will, re will recover. 11-yard TD pass to Grammer to Corey Davis, and then this is the backbreaker right here. Uh, an 80-yarder uh, right there to, uh, to Fletcher, and it was never really the same after that. You can see the momentum is all going West Alabama's way. Throwing it over the middle again, a big interception this time to set up uh, West Alabama again. And you know, uh, West Georgia just could get nothing going. And this one is the icing on the cake. This is Dante Armstrong again. This time he weaves his way through the entire West Georgia coverage, coverage unit and takes it all the way to the house to make it 24 to seven. And any hopes that uh, West Georgia is going to have to make a miraculous comeback is going to be snuffed on this right here. Big hit right there. The ball is out, and Greg Thomas takes that fortuitous bounce to the house, and it's 31 to seven. And it's a it's an all West uh, Alabama day. You see the stats, pretty much like the score. I mean, huge uh, huge advantage for uh, West Alabama in just about every category except turnovers. Five turnovers. Remember, West Georgia had. Had, had had eight going into this game, even worse today. And just really a frustrating day for the West Georgia Wolves, but what a great day for the University of West Alabama. Well, it's got to be an awful tough loss for Will Hall because he's lost three in a row. That didn't happen to him. But what a signature victory for Brett Gilliland as West Alabama defeats West Georgia 31-7 from Carrollton.